the camera is all the way at the end of the table, and I can't quite see if it's in focus, but the box is around my face, so I'm assuming it's in focus, hopefully. Hello. I <laughs> wanted to film, I, I was going to just film like a little update video just because I had things to say. Um, and then I sat down to record it in my office where I normally record stuff. And I was like, what if I just went outside with the dogs? The dogs are playing in the yard. I was like, what if I just went outside with the dogs and just set up a camera and use this handheld mic and it's easy peasy. So that's what we're doing. I can't see if it's in focus. I didn't test the audio to see if the levels are correct. Everything looks correct relatively i'm not even using a tripod i'm using a monopod and it's pressed up against the table so if a strong gust of wind comes over my whole camera setup is going down so hopefully that doesn't happen but i just kind of wanted to make this video to just say thank you and to let you guys know that i appreciate you i feel like i haven't done a video like this in in a while um I, I did a little bit of a video of me just talking uh, uh, maybe like a month ago. I, I played Power Wash Sim. It was after me and Mark played, and it just got me thinking about a lot of stuff. And so I had a very like honest talk about everything that'll be in a card up there if I remember to put it there. Or maybe it won't be. Who knows? Um, but I just kind of wanted to sit and talk and just say thank you. I, I made a challenge for myself uh, in the month of August to upload every single day um, because I hadn't had a solid schedule like that in a really, really long time. And so I made a challenge to myself because at the end of the month, it was my 10 year anniversary um, or our 10 year anniversary. Ah. But I, I wanted to make the challenge to myself to upload every single day like I used to. Um, and I just, it wasn't, I don't even know why necessarily because now I'm I'm sort of of the mindset of it's more quality over quantity in my like I'd rather make better videos than more videos um and I, I've kind of been like that for a while I'm not saying that my videos have been like crazy much betters that's a sentence for a, a long time now I haven't been like okay I'm just going to make sure there's any video up every day. Um, and so I made a challenge to myself to, to try and upload every single day in the month of August. Um, and uh, and I did. Um, hats off to Justin and Nervely, though. They're the real hero. Like, I recorded everything, but editing is, is way harder than recording is. Um, and that's where the actual finesse comes in. And that's what makes, like... A, a bad video a good video and a good video a great video <laughs> is in the edit so it's really like hats off to them but I, I just wanted to say thank you for all of the like the tremendous amount of support in August um you know I think a lot of it has to do with m me being consistent and uploading every day and like that helped a lot um but like the channel ha hasn't done uh, like numbers like that in a while. Not saying that everything is numbers related at all, but it was just really cool seeing how supportive everybody was and seeing everybody excited about a video every single day. Um, and that was that was really really cool. Um, and so going forward, I wanna I wanna do more of that. I'm not gonna dedicate to every single day, um, because it's it's just not something that I wanna do. Um, but I'd like to upload most days and I think that getting into that groove of uploading every day was really nice and like I even though I was like okay I need to get a video up today it never felt forced which was nice there was a couple of days where like shit happened and I didn't have a video and so there was like that bullshit video of me like in the dark with night vision talking about like what is a video um there was a few like bullshit uploads like that but uploading every day it got me it got me just like excited and I was actually like pumped to be recording and I was having a lot of fun um, and I was getting back into the groove of everything and I really, really, really loved that. Um, and so going forward, I, I kind of want to have more of a daily schedule, not every single day, but like trying to get a video out every day-ish and then if I can't get a video out for a day or for a few days, then I'm not going to stress about it. But I think that me uploading more regularly helped my brain a lot. Like I was getting up at like 6.30 every morning, 
um, and I would have my little me time in the morning. I would have my cup of coffee. I would go and see what I needed to record for the day. I would upload that day's video and make the thumbnail and stuff. And it, it was just really nice. I just felt really productive. And when I feel productive, I feel really good. Um, and so August was a really, really great month and it was really fun. I, I filmed a lot of really fun videos that I really loved. Um, and the community was just like, all of you guys were so pumped about everything and so supportive of everything. Um, and that was really, really, really awesome. Um, and again, huge, huge thank you to Catherine, very tired cat. Um, one of my best friends in the whole wide world for editing the 10 year montage. I was so excited about that video. Um, and I'm, I'm super happy with how it came out and I'm very proud of it, even though I didn't, well, I guess I did make all of the content that went into it, but I didn't edit the video. I feel weird being like, I'm so proud of that video because I feel like I didn't do anything, but I, I did make 10 years worth of content that was used in that video. So I, I can give myself a little bit of credit, but Catherine did a really, really fantastic job with that video. And the wind got taken out of my sails a little bit because as you guys know, the video got age restricted. And so I edited sort of like a petty version to upload, which was 10 years of crank gameplays, but it's heavily censored. So YouTube doesn't age restrict it. Um, but exciting news, the video has been unage restricted. Um, I, I got into contact with some people at YouTube, which I feel very lucky to be in that situation. And I wish that it didn't have to be like that because I did technically get special treatment. And I talked about this in that other video that I made about YouTube. I'm very grateful for the help that I received from YouTube and they were very helpful. Um, but it does kind of suck that I get special treatment and that's not normally the way that it would go about it. And if you have an age restricted video that shouldn't necessarily be age restricted, then you're just kind of left in the dust. But anywho, they unage restricted the video after they went into detail about what in the video was age restricted. It was a seven second montage of me saying fuck over and over again. Uh, and they did not deem that um, age appropriate, which if I'm being honest, I kind of think that they just said that and they were like, yeah, it's this part because I, I don't, I don't, I don't think that that video should have been age restricted at all. Like at all, at all. I think I, if they had hit me with the, if you're not familiar, YouTube can hit you with a limited ads feature where the video isn't age restricted, but they don't deem it to be ad friendly because of this, that, or the other thing. If they had hit me with that, I would have understood that because there is a lot of swearing throughout the entire video. But age, res age restricted? I don't, I don't, I don't think that that falls in line with that, if I'm honest. The main reason why I was upset about that, though, is because I was really excited for that video, and I thought that that video, and it still is, but I wanted it to be a staple of the channel. I wanted to use it as um, my, like, if you're not subscribed, here's the video that comes up kind of thing. And I, I wanted it to sort of do rounds a bit and just show, like, hey, here's 10 years of this thing that I've been doing. Um, and when it gets age-restricted, one, you can't use it as your channel trailer. Two, um, it severely throttles the views, obviously. Um, and if I can be selfish for a little bit, I wanted that video to do really, really well. Like I, I, I really wanted that video to go above and beyond. And I think that it would have, if it had not been age restricted, um, because, uh, I did the YouTube premiere of it and everybody in chat was so excited about it. And it was so much fun getting to watch that with you guys live. And the thing that I'm also pissed about is that because it was age restricted, the live chat replay no longer exists because that can't exist on an age restricted video apparently. Um, so that is a bummer because I can't go back now and watch the video and look at the live comments because I wasn't able to look at everything because there was a bunch of comments, but now I can't do that. So that's cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm a bit bummed about that because I really wanted that video to do really well. 
Um, but now it's on age restricted. So if you feel like going and sharing a bit, I mean, if you feel like going and sharing it with everybody that you know and love, I mean, I can't stop you, can I? Regardless of the age restriction on it, I I really was so happy with the feedback and um, the amount of love that was on that video because everybody that could watch it um, really, really loved that video. Um, and uh, as they should, because it was a really great video and Catherine did such a good job just highlighting everything uh, on the channel in the last 10 years. And what a fucking, <laughs> what a task to put on Catherine. Um, but, you know, like I said, Catherine is one of my best friends. And um, that is the kind of thing that Catherine actually really loves. Catherine loves tedium. Uh, and if you give her 10 years worth of content to comb through, you know, she's going to do it really well. Um, and a part of her is really going to love it. Um, and so Catherine did a, a such a good job. Um, so make sure I'll leave Catherine's Twitter in the description. So make sure to go and give her some love and go and go and watch the video. Even if you've watched it, already go and watch it again because now there's no age restriction okay you don't have to do that you can do whatever you want and go but yeah there, there's been a few changes as well that i just kind of wanted to talk about not even talk, just say like oh this is a thing that's going on <laughs> what are the things that are going on <laughs> in the month of august i guess was it august maybe it was before but it really started kicking into gear in august and this month the crank gameplay is clips channel now exists which is cool uh and then also cranky vods is still a thing i haven't streamed as much obviously um because i was uploading way more um but now if you go into the channels section also just as a rule of thumb if i ever make another channel that's related to crank gameplays you'll know that it's actually mine because i will have put it in my suggested channels tab on my channel so there's uh crank and place clips and there's cranky vods there as well so if you want to check those out the the clips is just very short clips that go up uh, i think justin's been uploading them like twice a day which has been awesome um so yeah there's that and then there's also cgp clips on tiktok if you want to follow that as well. But yeah, I mean, I'm excited about the Clips channel just because there's a bunch of stuff that I've forgotten about. Um, and Justin's just been throwing up. Justin basically runs that entire channel. Um, but he's just been like throwing up random clips from recently and from years ago. Um, and so that's kind of fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling really good. Um, I'm feeling very grateful for... Um, just the, the position that I'm in. And I feel really grateful that I get to do this as my job still 10 years later. I mean, I haven't been doing it as my full-time job for 10 years, but 10 years after I started, I'm doing this still and I'm still loving it and I'm doing it as my job. And I, I just feel very grateful. And so I, I wanted to th say thank you for all of the support. And I wanted to also say that I have chance. <laughs> no, but I wanted, I wanted to say thank you for, um, for everybody who got a signed poster uh, I went to Chicago and I signed a bunch of posters and I streamed the entire thing. Um, and so I signed 4,000 posters um, and those are all sold now because at the time of the stream, I had been stream, I had been signing for about 14 hours. Um, and by the end of that, I had signed, uh, by the end of the stream, I had signed 3,500 posters and we had sold about 3,000. And then I went back the next morning and I signed another 800 or 1,000, I think. Somebody, wait, what did it? No, I signed 3,500 during the stream or just under 3,500. I can't remember. I signed 4,000 in total because originally there was 10,000, um, but I think that was a, that was a very lofty goal, uh, but I was still so insanely surprised with um, four thousand people then getting the signed posters, which was amazing. Um, and so now, if uh, if you missed out on the signed posters or if they were a bit too pricey for you, um, we now have the uh, ten year the same poster just unsigned for fifteen dollars. Um, and I told the the merch company because. It's the 10th year of Crank Gameplays. We're just going to leave those up until they sell out. 
um, for the next for the next year. So you don't have to worry about like you don't need to get it right now. Um, those are going to remain up until they sell out. Um, I don't know how many of them are. Well, I guess there would be six thousand of those. But I don't know how many are left because I don't know how many we've sold. Anyway, it's not important. If you want to go and grab the signed, the unsigned, un, it's not signed. I didn't sign it. <laughs> if you want to go and sign the un, if you want to grab the unsigned poster, you can do that. There's also shirts and hoodies. If you want to check out those as well, you can. But yeah, I'm I'm just I'm just excited. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on, you know, with August, there was everything going on just day to day. I was very, very busy. Um, and then I also, uh, a couple days ago now, uh, just got back from Korea. I was in Korea, uh, with Mark and Amy and Mika and Mark's mom. Um, and it was super, super fun. Um, and I had a really, really great time. Uh, it was, <laughs> it was wonderful. Um, but that was super fun. And now I'm back, um, and so just going to get back into, into making videos. Um, and so sorry for the, for the last few days, not having really anything. Um, but jet lag hit me a bit harder than I thought that it would coming back going there. I was totally fine. Uh, but coming back, it, it hit me pretty hard. Um, so I'm still kind of recovering a little bit. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to say is um, I made a post about it a while back, um, but there's been memberships enabled on the channel for a bit. Memberships are basically like the same thing as like a Twitch sub. Um, so it's like four or five bucks a month. Um, and for a while, it was just a way to monetarily support the channel if you felt like doing it, but you didn't really get anything other than like some emotes and stuff like that. Um, and so I was like, well, I want to give people who are doing that just something. Um, and so I came up with the idea of, um, of just doing members only series um, once a month where I just go and play a game that I wouldn't play on the channel because it probably wouldn't do super well. Um, and so right now I started Alien Isolation, which is a game that came out way long ago but i never played it and so i was like oh that would be a really fun game and so now every month i'm letting you guys choose between like four or five different games that i want to play and then you guys can vote on it and then we'll do whichever um and so we're doing alien isolation this month um but it, it's been really cool because it's i had this like weird realization while i was recording it where i was like wow this is really going to be like old YouTube in the sense that, you know, the, the video as of now, I think has like maybe a hundred views. There's like 10 comments on the video because there's not a, a ton of members. And so it's just been really cool seeing that and like making this, like, it's like a two hour long recording. Uh, it's been a way that I've been like warming up in the morning. I'll just go and record an episode of alien isolation. I say this as if I've been doing it, I've done it once, but it was a nice way to start my day. And I plan on doing that going forward. Okay. It, it was just kind of nice because it was just like, Oh, I just record an old fashioned kind of let's play. There's barely any editing. The thumbnails and the titles are not, I don't have to make them like clickbaity or anything like that. Um, so it's just alien isolation part one. And the thumbnail is alien isolation. And it says part one in big red text. So then people can see which part they're watching. Um, and so it just kind of feels like old YouTube and the comments, um, there's not a ton of them. So I can respond to basically every comment. Um, and there's no spam because it's everybody who's a community member so the comments are all genuine it, it just feels really cool and it feels really nice um and it's kind of brought me back to when i first started to where i was actually able to interact and stuff um and, it, and it's really cool um and i do have i do have a, a few more plans on uh some things to do for members i think going forward with um i've been uploading like bigger videos um, every few Saturdays and I want to make it a weekly thing where every Saturday video is like a bigger video. So it was like the bartending video that I did with Eddie Burback or the drag queen video that I did with Persephone recently, or when Mika and I went to the farm, those kind of videos. Um, the playlist is called crank gameplays gone wild. 
thank you to community member Cutie for the suggestion of what to call that playlist. Crank Gameplay's Gone Wild. I think it's a fantastic title. But all of those videos, usually I upload those on a Saturday. Um, and so, you know, we film for a couple hours usually, but then it's cut down usually to a 20 or 30 minute video. And so going forward, um, I'm going to have Justin or Nervely, whoever's editing it, because most of the time, the way that they edit, they do like a rough cut down of everything. And then they go back and put in the big edits and then trim more fat. Um, and so I asked them about it and I was like, hey, would it be possible if you guys just export the first rough cut where it's like an hour and a half or whatever, an hour, an hour and a half of footage before you trim all the extra fat, before you add in the edits? Um, what if we just export that and we put it up for community members? So then um, people who are community members, you know, everybody gets to see the actual final video, but then you sort of get a, a longer director's cut version and kind of a um, uh, media media in your full, oh God, you kind of get a director's cut version and a behind the scenes kind of thing. My memory card is almost out. Oh, I have four minutes. I don't have to rush that much. So yeah, you kind of just get a little extra, extra director's cut, if you will, where it's like, minimal editing but you get you know almost the entire recording session and some stuff that we cut out and stuff like that um and so they were down for that because it's like yeah it's an extra fun little video and it doesn't require any other work on their part other than just exporting another version of the video so very very cool lastly i just want to um i want to extend a thank you to like it's very weird being able to say this now but my entire team um, you know, I'm the one that records and uploads and stuff like that. And I'm the face of the channel, but I really, really want to thank Justin and Nervely and Jocelyn and Parker and everybody, uh, at SCP with the merch and just like everybody who helps me out day to day. They're sort of more behind the scenes, obviously, because again, I'm sort of the face of this and I'm on the videos, but nothing would be possible without them. Um, and I'm, I'm just really, really, really thank you. <laughs> I'm really, really thankful. Um, and so I want to I, I wanna just say thank you to them um, because nothing that I do would be possible without all of those people. And uh, especially in the last year, they've helped me so much. Like not only expand the, the channel, but just like make me a, a better person, I think. You know, like working with more people, you learn how to just like be a better person creator and like I am people's boss and so I've learned how to try and be a better boss and I'm still trying to learn how to be a better boss and communicate better and just I, I'm just very thankful for the people that I get to work with every day um, and uh, the people that that help make the channel what it is including you guys so thank you guys so much for being here I'm gonna go before this SD card fully runs out um, but expect more fun videos soon thank you for everything and uh I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.